Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee back again with another video. Uh, today I'm doing a little more in-depth video of the MOSFET, DIY MOSFET for 3D printers. Right here I have a Ramps 1.4 board on top of a, that's the shield, on top of the Arduino, um, Arduino Mega 2650. And of course you have stepper drivers for the motors, but I'm not using any of those today. Um, basically, uh, right here, this port all the way on the end goes to your hot end, usually something like this for your E3, uh, V6 usually. Anyway, um, what happens is on a transistor, you have a base co collector or emitter or the other one where it's, it's a little different, but it's basically the same thing. It has three pins that comes out, and uh, right here I made up this little circuit diagram on it. Um, basically... I have the negative coming off of the this pin right here. So that gets plugged into the negative port on your extruder. You can see the positive red wire is going over to this little circuit right here. I have two 10K ohm resistors, one for this LED light so you can know that the um, circuit is on. It'll light up a white bright light for you and then the other one goes over to the base of the MOSFET and that center pin is going to the ground oops the ground of the um, whole circuit here so basically that ground goes over to whatever you're trying to turn on so right here I have a positive lead coming off of this power supply and then it goes into this port right here I'm just using this as an example and then the negative that comes off of the um, emitter here, or the transistor, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, it comes off of the middle pin, goes over to the negative side of this motor controller. I have the motor controller right here. And you'll see the light on the motor controller right here. There's a little red LED that shows you that it turns on. I just wanted to use something to show you guys that it will work. Um, so this is the really basic, easy way of getting yourself a MOSFET for your printer, so you don't have to buy one offline. I have plenty of these lying around, and you would too if you have any broken boards. Uh, you'll have small ones, big ones, it doesn't matter. Anything that drives power usually will have a MOSFET in it, or a transistor. So um, I'm going to sit this up so you guys can kind of see. I'm trying to angle everything. There we go for you so basically this light and that white light led will turn on as soon as i click over here i have pronter face running um i just have it set for 120 for the um, hot end it is already connected uh port com port number four bud ray is 250,000. anyway um all i have to do is hit set which i'm about to do i'm gonna watch you let you guys watch it turn on and that will turn on the transistor, which will then be like a power switch, allowing the current to flow through all this. Because that's what you want. You want to make sure, the reason why you have a MOSFET is so you're not running all the current and power through your motherboard or your ramps there. You want to try to limit the, the power coming from here. So you try to just use this as a switch while you get all the power coming from your 12 volt power line instead. So, um, right now we're going to go ahead and hit set. And there you have it. So, the LED on here, you can see right there, turns on. And then the LED over here, obviously turned on. And then you know for sure that it's getting power because the actual motor light came on. And um, this won't stay on too long because it's not going to be able to read any power. Um, so, uh, it'll do a thermal runaway eventually. And then you have to like restart the everything. Anyway, I was just trying to show you guys that as a quick steps uh, tutorial. So basically what's happening is uh, the power over here gets turned on. And then this will turn on and allow the power from the actual 12 volt line to go straight to here. And then you're just using the negative line off of the switch this is basically you're turning this into a switch and then you'll get yourself full power there and the reason why i put the led on there is so that way if you ever did do something like this you could see how to hook up the led 
All you need is two 10k ohm resistors for this whole setup and one LED so you can know that when your stuff is running and it's on you'll be able to see this and you can mount this LED anywhere so like if you have an enclosure for your printer or anything all you have to do is just run the wiring that long outside of your enclosure so you'll know whenever your heated bed is on and when it's switching on and switching off and things like that so I mean this is a really good setup I really like it I hope you guys like it too this is legit Lee and I'll be signing out thank you